let's have a look at some exponential now with integration so remembering that the idea of integration is that it's the opposite of differentiation so if we consider that the derivative of e to the x is e to the x as we've learned before then it must work out that the antiderivative or the integral of e to the x is e to the x plus some constant so we're just reversing it so see how it stays the same there when we integrate it stays the same there like in integration of polynomials the rule there's not as many as not as many rules as there is for differentiation so the only other rule we're going to use for integration is this one is where we have e to the power of a function now that function's really going to be pretty simple it's only going to be in the a linear function ax plus b anything else we can't do in the two unit course we re require is to use a reverse chain rule which we, we haven't got so that's as simple as it's going to get in that terms of what function you're going to e, e to the power will be to integrate and the result there would just be 1 over a e to the ax plus b so that's as simple or hard as we're going to get so let's see it in action e to the power of 2x well that will equal a half 1 over the a because that's the ax 1 over a e to the 2x so 2 becomes 1 over 2 e to the power of 5x would become 1 fifth e to the 5x so because it's 5 there it becomes 1 fifth e to the power of mi point, minus point 0.4 well that gave us the 1 over minus point 0.4 which ones it works out to be 2.5 or 5 over 2 with d we can see that we've got 5 times e to the power of 2.5 so the 5 would be multiplied by 1 over 2.5 e to the power of 2.5x which gives us 2 e to the 2.5x plus the constant. Try not to forget your constant every time. e to the x integrates to e to the x. e to the minus 3x integrates to minus 1 third e to the minus 3x plus the constant. You can see we just keep applying that rule. And a half, well that can stay up the front. We can just integrate the, fu the function there. e to the 0.5 of x would be 1 over 0.5 which is 2 e to the 0.5x and e to the minus 0.5x will become 1 over minus 2 and then once we multiply through here it just gives us what we had there before so don't forget use that rule a e to the power of ax plus b the integral of that is 1 on a e to the ax plus b plus our constant